Good morning. It is Friday. I have to get up and go to work. I'm pulling a double today. I'm sleepy, y'all. I got up. I woke up at 3 o'clock to talk to my son because he got in at 3. And then I didn't get back to sleep till 5 o'clock. And now I'm like super sleepy. But I got to get up, so I'm going to get up, get myself ready for work and get this day started so let's go Okay, so now I'm about to go in the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, install my hair, and then get ready to go. Let's go. Officially done with the bathroom portion. So now I'm just gonna get my stuff together so I can get out of here. Try to decide what type of I have lip gloss, so I what lip gloss I have with me. And that's it. So now I'm gonna grab my things. And get out of here, and I will see you guys in the car. Hey. I ain't get you no know, drive by, say bye. You don't want to tell people happy Valentine's Day? I'm in the process of doing my hair, but. Yeah, they say my thing melted a little bit. It did, that's why it smelled like that. I was getting that smell, I kept smelling that rubber, that was the thing. Well, I hope it's all right. Oh, it always smells like that. Oh, this apple bag. Throw this apple away. Oh, this apple look good. You tripping? Go on and eat it then. Go on and eat it then. You nasty. I wouldn't do that. Oh, I need to pack me a yogurt. Give me a yogurt out the refrigerator, please. That's fine. Okay. Which one? It don't matter. Somebody need to eat that dirty rice today. Dirty rice. And they contain the you and your sister can split it. Oh, no, I actually some of that. Okay. All right, we gotta go to the grocery store this weekend. Yeah. What you was that good for Nothing. Here, bought me some. You know, they bought me that perfume. Oh yeah. So I'm good. I thought y'all was gonna go to the movies. Well, we was, but he gotta work tomorrow. Oh. We was all gonna go as a family. To a dinner and a movie, but he gotta work, so. So just you tell his job. Man, you better let me know. Alright, All right, child, I'm finna head out. Right. Y'all be good, do right. Be good, do right. And she said, and she also said, don't ruin right. your weekend, little red. Okay. You go in there and do your best. All right. Okay. All right. But y'all supposed to smell better. 
Oh, my oldest is getting sleep till it's time for him to walk the youngest. Bye. But yeah, my oldest one is sleep till it's time to I mean till it's time to walk the youngest one. He does not walk to school by himself. Audrey just started walking to school by herself this year, but that's only because they're close, like super, super close. So it's okay. I need to get this change and put it in my bank when I get home. It's 21 cent. Ugh, I'm tired. You left your room light on. I did? Yeah. Mm. I don't know where I thought I turned it off. Oh, my nails won't let me take this key off. Hold on. Oh, I need some nails. I can't wait till this weekend. I don't wear no nails. I'll bit my nails off. Okay, I'm my key back. Unlock, uh, I mean, turn that light off. Okay. So now I'm letting my, uh, uh, car warm up. You probably like why you got your room locked like that? Because I have guns in my room. Like guns. So I don't want my children, even though they're teenagers and they know better, I still don't want them getting a hold to them. So we keep our room door locked. You got like, yeah, look, I got guns in my car, in my room. I stay ready so I ain't got to get ready. Y'all can act like the world ain't changing if you want to and be up here tripping. Now that I said the kid. Mm. I'm prepared, my children prepared. Mm. They're actually gonna start going to the gun range. So, you know, like, they too young. You ain't know, no too young to learn defense, self-defense. Lock, lock down when you get on your door. Hmm? Lock down when you get on your door. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay, turn this light off for me. All right, y'all have a good day. Okay. Bye. Bye, son. Love you, too. Okay. Oh, I got to get gas. Today's Friday. I filled my gas tank up Saturday. No. Or was it Monday? I filled my car up Monday. So my car is doing really, really good. I filled it up Monday on the way from, uh, on the way from work so it's doing really good i could probably make it till monday again we'll see because I'm, I'm trying to see how long my gas actually lasts in my car before i have to put more in it's almost done warming up i i don't know if y'all know but you're never supposed to move your car whether it's summertime or winter time and until you properly let it warm up and all the fluids are able to go through their hoses i learned it a long time ago by not doing that and just taking off and driving, you mess your car up. So I have this thing. Like in the winter time, it take about, depending on how cold it, it is, it can take about three to five minutes for my car to warm up completely. And you'll know your car is warm when, okay, so you know, I have a hot and cold thing. And my, the, sometimes when you start your car, the, it, the line be below the cold. But if you sit down and let your car warm up, once it gets to that cold line, that first cold line, you can go. And during the summertime, it might take two minutes for my car to warm up. So it just all depends. So I feel refreshed this morning. I feel good this morning. Oh, I can't go that way. She got that way locked. Locked. Cause they be trying to park in our subdivision and they don't behave in it. Um, what else was I say? Yeah, um, you walking? You walking by yourself? Okay, all right, baby girl, have a good day. Love you, Love you too. Bye, happy Valentine's Day. So, um, she blocks that front area off and we have to go around, which I don't mind. 
I normally, when I leave in the mornings, it's not blocked off because school hasn't started. But once school starts, she blocks it off. So, I can respect that. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I don't, I, I'm going to be at work all day. I got to do a double. So, my family gave me my Valentine's Day gifts yesterday. And I gave hubby his yesterday, which was simple and pra practical, but it's what he needed. So, he was happy. He was just happy to be thought about. Um, I bought him something that I wanted him to have. And then I gave him some money to go get something that he wanted. Because although I did not have to match his gift. Because his gift was expensive. So although I didn't have to match his gift. I just wanted to. Because he has been an awesome husband. He has been an amazing husband i last year i last two to three years was kind of rough it was kind of rough i'm not gonna lie like was he was he, we was pushing each other buttons and it was like oh we about to get a divorce because you trying my life and i don't feel like being tried but this year i feel like Hold on. I feel like we both stepped up in a sense. So we both been doing our part and that's good. We both put in time to make our marriage work. Cal marriage counseling. I'm not gonna lie. Marriage counseling saved our marriage because I was ready for a divorce. It was it was about to be a wrap. Like I have taken so much in my life that I refuse to put up with anything, especially when I've given you, you I've given you, I've I've given you a decade of my life, and I just refused to give any more. And I was on my way out the door, honey. And it, it, had, it just had got that bad. And um, we went to marriage counseling. We did the work. And we're not perfect. I'm never going to say that. But we are so much better than what we were before. And I think us being on the same page spiritually has definitely helped and I love the fact that when he's having a bad day, he calls me and says, babe, pray for me. Pray for me. Please pray for me right now. I love that. I love having that connection with him. Because a couple of years ago, we didn't have that connection. So, yeah. Um, marriage is just getting better for us. I'm learning to come out of my stubborn, some of my stubborn ways. And he's learning to come out of his stubborn ways. And it just makes for a happier, healthier marriage. Even the kids are happier in the house. So, because what people don't understand is your the way you you act in your marriage reflects if you have children reflects off of your children, and it also reflects off the people you may have around you. So I found that a lot of times we um, we were the people that were around us were suffering as well. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm going to groove out to this music on my way to work. I feel like listening to some gospel music, so I think that's what I'm going to listen to. But I'm going to enjoy my ride to work. But I just wanted to chat with you guys. I might stop in while I'm at work just to kind of show y'all what I do and stuff. So, we shall see, and I will be back. Bye. Okay, y'all, so I made it to work. I am at work doing my job. <sighs> y'all, the energy that I had this morning when I pulled up to this job, I didn't have that same energy, child. But I'm going to make it through today. I got a lot of stuff to do. I have a couple of tests to take for school. I'm going to catch up on some shows. So before you know it, my little shift will be over. It's just about being productive, being consistent, taking care of some business while I'm sitting here for these 14 hours, 15 hours, and just really using that time wisely and applying it to something that needs to be done 
So that is what I'm going to do. I have my um, snacks. I'm going to order my lunch um, around 10 o'clock. 10 30 so to be here for 11 i have my dinner in the deep freezer so i am all set to go it's tomorrow is the weekend no stress honey i'm good i'm gonna get through this day because what i do know is i'm all saturday and sunday so who's mad nobody but the devil and you know sometimes you got to do things for your co-workers and um, you have to step up for them because you know that they'll step up for you. So that is what I did. I stepped up for one of my co-workers because she wanted this day off. And, you know, me and hubby, we exchanged the gifts already. But, you know, she wanted this day off to be with whoever she's with. And why not give a great employee that? So that is what I did. So, yeah, and me and my kids are doing something tomorrow. So we have a whole day planned. So, I will see you guys. I probably won't see you guys no more today. I'm at work. And I don't really film at work. Mainly because I get a lot of stuff done at work. I get a lot of video editing. I get a lot of homework done. I get a lot of uh, catching up on YouTube. T catching up on TV shows. Um, planning in my planner. Budgeting in my budgeter. I get a lot of stuff done when I'm at work. So, that is what I'm about to do. So, until next time. Well, actually until tomorrow. Well, when y'all see the next vlog, it'll be next week. So, yeah. Remember, if nobody told you you're beautiful, remember Simply Key will always say you're beautiful because you simply are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Budget for February. Our goals for February. Um, what I plan on doing different for February. So, this is our February um, 